Hey guys, so today's video I'm very excited about. Me and Abby from Color Sweat Beauty started a new tag and it's going to be your top 10 summer essentials. So this can be anything from makeup, hair care, skin care, body, whatever. Your top 10 products that you kind of can't live without in the summertime. So we will both tag a bunch of people down below that we want to see do this video. Also, if we don't tag you, still do it and just leave a video response so we can watch it and see what you love in the summertime. So I hope you guys all enjoy this video and let's get started. My number one pick is the Posy Tint by Benefit. And this is, you know, their, their real Benetint is like a red toned kind of tint. And this is pink. So it looks like, the weird thing is it looks kind of like nail polish but I actually really like how it applies with the applicator. But what I do with this, I have it on today. I put it, this is all I have on for blush. I just kind of dab a little bit, like a thin layer on and then rub it in, let it dry. And then you can build it up and put, you know, make it as bright as you want it. Or if you just want like a light flush of color, you can just put a little bit on. I also have this on my lips. This is all I have on. And it's just easy. It's just something that you can put on in the morning to give your face a little bit of color. It'll last all day long. It's not going to melt off your face when you go outside in the sun. It's a little bit pricey. I want to say it's like 20 something, $28 or something like that. But this will last you a super long time. I got this like two years ago and I feel like I'm going to have this forever. Second on my list is going to be a texture cream. This is by Bumble and Bumble and it's called the BB Texture hair undressing cream. So what I do with this is I put it, you have to use it in wet hair. So after you take a shower, rub like a quarter size amount into your palms, rub it together, and then I just work it throughout my hair and then I scrunch it. You can put it in a braid, you can put it in a bun, let it just air dry down. Um, but I do like how it looks when you just let it air dry. It gives you like kind of a little bit of like grit to your hair and hold. It gives you really PC texturized pieces and you can also blow dry your hair with this too and it just gives you a lot of volume and lift. They also have little sizes at Sephora so if you don't want to commit to the full size uh, you can always do a little one but you can also use this, um, guys can use this too as like a hair gel. Even the next day you can kind of scrunch your hair up and you'll still kind of be able to style it. It's, it's good. It's really good and you need it. Number three is a spray like a a hydrator, a mist that you can have in your beach bag that'll just give you like a little oomph throughout the day. So this is the George's Aloe Spray Mister and I got mine off of Vitacost. The ingredients is 100% aloe vera and it's just great because I can use this as a setting spray for my makeup and before I put my makeup on I can use it as a moisturizer. You can just spray it on your face throughout the day, all over your body. It's just kind of like that thing you want to throw in your beach bag and everybody's going to want to ask you for this. I feel like you kind of get addicted to it. Next on my list is this body lotion. This is the Giovanni Brazilian Keratin and Argan Oil Ultra Sleek Body Lotion. And I love this for the summer especially because it's very lightweight but still incredibly moisturizing. Uh, the last thing that you want in the summer is to be waiting around for this thick body butter to be absorbing into your skin like Nobody has time for that. This is so lightweight. It feels like silk on your skin. It smells like lemon pie and coconuts. Like who doesn't want to smell like that in the summertime? It's amazing. It has argan oil in here, so it's super hydrating. And it also gives your skin like a silky kind of glow to it. I will have this forever. It is a must. It's only like $7 from Vitacost and you can't go wrong. It's also natural too. So I mean, what more could you want? Number five is my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer in the Illuminating Formula. I love this stuff. I have it in multiple shades so that no matter what my skin tone is at the time, I can always use this. It is a tinted moisturizer, but it's kind of mixed in with a liquid highlight. And when you put it on, it just gives your your skin an instant glow. It just looks like you are just so radiant and glowing. Um, every single friend that I've forced to try this loves it. And I'm wearing it right now. This stuff is good because you can just put it on with your fingers and go out the door and you can wear it like at the pool, at the beach. And it gives you a little bit of coverage, but it's not like super like heavy on your skin. And it has SPF 20. But you still should wear sunscreen, but still, it's just a kind of like an added bonus, but love this. So my number six product is going to be a leave-in treatment that you can put into your hair after you get out of the pool, after you go to the beach. 
something that you can just hydrate your hair with because your hair is going to feel like straw and you nobody wants that. So I have two. My first product is the Alterna Summer Hair RX Sun Recovery Spray. And this you put in your hair after you're in the sun and it just puts the hydration back into your hair. It also has a UV protectant, which is great. And it's made with really good natural ingredients. It, it smells like citrus. It just makes your hair feel very soft and smooth and silky. And also another thing that I use all the time is argan oil. So I use this a lot of the time when I get out of the shower, I'll just put argan oil on my hair. So this is the Josie Marin argan oil. This is a little pricey, it's like 50 or so dollars, but this will last you forever, I swear. I still have this much left and I've, it just, it really lasts a long time and this is just so luxurious feeling on your hair, it's incredible. The other one that's fairly new to me is the Acure argan oil and this is um, the same type of thing, I haven't used it on my face yet, so I'm not, I can't tell you if it works on my face yet. This one, this one I use the majority of the time on my face. Um, that's why I got this one, because it's a lot, a lot less expensive, so I felt like I could use this on my hair. It just feels so moisturizing and um, a good thing to put on your hair after you're in the sun for a long time. Next on my list is a cream shadow. So I have the Maybelline Color Tattoos. I also have the Makeup Forever Aqua Creams. Both are good. These, the Maybellines are obviously a way less expensive. The thing I like about these, I have this on my eyes right now too. It's great because you can just use these with your fingers. I don't like to use a lot of brushes in the summer for my makeup. I don't know why, it's just kind of like a hassle. So you can just put a little bit on your finger and rub it on like your lash line on the top and bottom. And it just gives you like a little bit of shimmer and shine to your eyes without having to deal with a ton of eyeshadow. They also last forever. They're great as just a base for eyeshadow. They're great alone. They're just beautiful. The three colors that I really like in the summer for the color tattoos are the uh, Barely Beige, which is a like pearly skin tone color, and Bad to the Bronze, with, which is like a, um, you know, bronzy nude. And then the Aqua Cream is in number 13, which is again like a pearly shimmer. Okay, for number eight, let's talk about lips. So. You need a SPF, a chapstick with SPF during the day, and then something at night that's just like super hydrating for your lips. So I chose my EOS Lip Balm in Lemon Drop, and this has SPF 15. It smells like lemons. It smells great. And this is just a good one to have in your beach bag. And then for a nighttime lip balm, this is the Waxoline Petroleum Jelly Alternative. This is an all-natural, it's non-GMO, no petroleum in here. I found this first from one of my conscious boxes and it kind of like got obsessed with it so I had to buy the full size. I got this off of their website, Waxoline's website, but I think they sell it at Bed Bath & Beyond and CVS now. But it's just like a really like rich balm and I just kind of rub this all over my lips at night and it's just so moisturizing. Number nine is going to be my Macadamia Hair hair natural oil deep repair mask and this I feel like so many people talk about this but it's because it works and it's just so good for your hair this is a good thing to have if you're going on vacation to somewhere that's really warm um, your hair can get super super dry and it's really good to bring a mask with you on vacation because you can just kind of you know give your hair a break for a little bit this is an incredibly rich mask I use it about once a week and it just gives your hair so much moisture. It puts a lot of shine into your hair. And it's not 100% natural, but it is paraben free, cruelty free, and alcohol free. And if you just want to try this, they always sell like little samples at CVS, I think. So, or um, Ulta sells them. So yeah, check this out. Last on my list is sunscreen. I feel like this is kind of a no brainer. Everybody should have sunscreen in the summer. But um, I wanted to mention a couple natural sunscreens that I've been using because a lot of you guys have been asking me. So I was, uh, today was looking on E, what is it called, EWG, um, Skin Deep's website, and I was looking at like ingredients to avoid in sunscreens and stuff like that and things that you should look for. So the first sunscreen that I have is the True Natural, All Natural Sunscreen, SPF 30, and it is the Caribbean Coconut Scent, and this is gluten free, it's 100% mineral ba based, and it's 100% natural. The active ingredients are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. And those are the two ingredients that um, the website tells you to look for when looking for a sunscreen. It's very thin, so it really rubs in really easily, and it works. The other one that I have is the Alba Botanica Hawaiian Sunscreen. 
This one I was really surprised with. Um, this one on the website, I think it ranked two for like toxicity and two is really low. Um, it's like ranked from one to ten. This one on the other hand I think was a seven and that's like the same, I think one of the banana boats was like an eight so it's not that good. Um, so, and I'm mad because I just repurchased this but I'll keep, I'll use it until it's gone. It is paraben free which is good but it's not, it doesn't have um, like the best ingredients that a more natural sunscreen can have. So those are my top 10 products for my summer essentials. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Feel free to do this video. Leave it as a video response down below. And I hope you guys all have a good summer. I will see you all soon. Bye.